Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another Haiti hey video and this is going to be a requested video. In this video, we're going to be talking about what are the best products in Haiti to make and sell to make a lot of coins. So we're also gonna be talking a little bit about making coins. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pop the balloon, three, two, one, here we go. Let's see. All right, just got a marker steak, and this is my little Halloween-y decorated area. As you guys can see, with the help of squirrels, dead bushes, my basket of um, pine corns, and this, uh, the jack-o'-lantern pumpkin. All right, so. We're finally into the game, and I'm just going to start playing the game. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to watch the film and just get the reward from here. All right, that's it. Let's spin the wheel, and let's see what do we get. So, fingers crossed to what I'm going to get. And it's going to be... Oh, uh, I just missed the star. That was so unlucky of me. So, let's just harvest some of my crops. I've got some eggplants. I am currently trying to replenish my eggplant stock, which is so low because I used a lot in my boat. And, yeah, nobody gave me. So, I have to do all things on my own. So, there we go. And just going to harvest my pumpkins, which I planted because I was trying to get sun points for my valley. And I just got a tape, which is cool. So let's see what else I can plant. I'm going to go with soybeans because I am really low on them for the moment. So there we go. All right, that's it. And we are just going to collect our honeycombs. There's one, one left. So there we go. And yeah, my peanuts are already collected. And let's just collect my actual animals. So we're going to be starting from the cows. And oh my god, my barn is full, which is crazy. Mm, let's make a lot of chicken feed because my chickens I always need eggs and I'm probably not gonna feed my pets I'm not in the mood you guys. I'm sorry. I don't have enough milk and bacon as well All right guys now coming back to the main point of the video What are the best products to make and sell and how to make coins quickly? Which of course is the most asked question by everybody in this game so whenever there's somebody who starts Haiti there are like so many new players every day and the only problem they suffer from is the shortage of coins. They can never have enough coins and I know it's true, it's really frustrating, I've been through the same. So the only thing they have to do is to choose everything wisely, think wisely, change your strategies because this is like a business game, this is like your mindset kind of game. So the two things I want to make clear before actually talking about the product is that whatever I say in my videos, my recommendations, my tips, they are never final. You can always change them according to your playing style because of course everybody's going to have a different playing style. In Haiti, we are not the same. And the second thing is that if you are a low level player, focus more on coins not an XP. I say this again and again because it's a very important tip because I know some people really start focusing on levels. They don't really care about coins and when they become a high level player, they don't have enough coins to make um, to purchase machines and to get other things so they end up leaving the game which is very annoying. So don't do that. Make sure you focus more on your coins because coins are important than XP. Once you get enough coins, then you can start focusing on your XP. And if you're a low level player, you can sell any product. It doesn't matter if it's hard to make it doesn't matter if it needs dairy products sugar products because all you need are coins coins should only matter for you if you're a low level player so i'm just gonna get started now the thing that you will see my barn is almost full i have like so many products i'm always running i'm always running my machines my main uh, focus is that my machines never stop i'm trying my best to make products all the time because this is such a good tip. A lot of players don't use their machines all the time. So I would recommend you guys to keep your machines running all the time. Never leave them empty because this will be a waste. So um, I do sell a lot of products and you guys can see uh, like actually I have purchased a lot of decorations in the game and that's because of the coins because I made so many coins in Haiti. So I'm just going to be showing you guys what kind of products would be simple for you to sell and to make and you can make a lot of coins by them. So I'm going to just go through all the machines one by one and then at the end I'm also going to sell a bunch of products to make coins. So starting from our famous bakery. Now in this machine is a very good way to make coins. So the tip here is that always make those products that are simple to make, they're not hard to make um, and also maybe you can easily get them and they can give you a lot of coins. For example, if you talk about the bakery, bread is the simple product. It only needs three wheat, gets ready in four minutes, and this can give you pretty much a lot of coins. 
10 bread goes for 216 coins, and even if you sell like 100, you can get 2,000 coins. I think this is such a good thing. Uh, so obviously for that purpose, you're gonna need a bigger barn, so make sure you also keep focusing on your barn in the game, because barn is also very important. Um, and other than that, you can sell cornbread, you can sell muffins, and um, I actually do not recommend selling pizzas, because they need cheese, they are so rare, so make sure you save them for your town. But if you're a low-level player and you really need coins, then you can sell them. That's not a problem. But normally, the only product that you can make a lot of coins is definitely bread, cornbread, and maybe the muffins. But muffins do gonna take a little bit of time. Coming to your um, sugar mill. Now, in this machine, I basically, normally, I will not say that sell the products, but syrup is a good way to make coins. Um... So what I would say to you is that if you have enough sugars, keep making syrup all the time. The thing is, it can also help you to fully master your machine quickly, and it can give you a lot of coins. 10 syrup goes for over 900 coins. So you guys can see I have 76, and I'm just going to be selling a lot in this video to make a lot of coins. Coming to my favorite machines, one of my favorite machines, the popcorn. This machine is actually a very, very good way to make coins. So in here, chili popcorn and popcorns are the best ones to make coins. You can also make chocolate popcorn, but the butter and the honey popcorn, I do not recommend selling. First of all, they're so rare to make. They're not easy to make. You're going to need a lot of honey. You're going to need a lot of butter, which is hard. So the best products in this machine will definitely be simple popcorn, chili popcorn, which you can easily make. It's only going to need corn, and they will go away quickly, and it can also give you pretty much a lot of coins. Coming to the pie events, this machine is also a very, very good way to make coins. The thing is, all the products are simple to make, so you can make a lot of carrot pies, pumpkin pies are good to do, uh, good to go, bacon pies also, but make sure you have enough bacons. Um, then I would recommend you to sell the shepherd's pie is a good way to make coins. This is very simple to make. It's just going to need bacon. This is the only main challenge. The other products I basically do not recommend selling because they're hard to make. They're going to need cheese. Um, tomato sauce and stuff like that. So the best products will definitely be the carrot pie, the pumpkin pie, and the actual shepherd's pie. The sauce maker, normally I will not say that you have to sell anything from this machine, but if you have a lot of soy sauce, like over 60 or 70, then you can sell this to make a lot of coins. Then that will be a good thing. Um, coming to the cakes, um, in cakes, you can sell red berry cakes, I would recommend. And then I, I will recommend you to sell, you can sell your pineapple cake, which I know is like a high level product, but if you're a low level player, then you can actually sell all the cakes. It doesn't matter. They will go away real quick and they can give you a lot of coins. Sieving machine is a good way to make coins as well. Um, the actual woolly chaps are pretty simple to make. They're just going to need one um, fabric and three wool, and you can make a lot of them and you can sell them to make a lot of coins. Coming to the salad bar. All the salads can actually give you a lot of coins, but what I make is I recommend you to make pasta salad. Um, summer rolls, because these are very simple to make. Bacon, um, sorry, mushroom salad is a good way to go. And you can also make a lot of beetroot salads. Just gonna need one goat cheese. Um, from the barbecue grill, pancakes will be a good choice. Just gonna need three eggs and one brown sugar, which is not a problem. Bacon and eggs you can also make. If you're a low-level player, that's a good way to make coins. It can give you pretty much a lot of coins. Roasted tomatoes is one of the best products because they only need two tomatoes. It's not gonna need any hard ingredient. And they can give you a lot of coins. They will go away real quick as well. The other products are kind of um, challenging to make like um, the the garlic bread, the lobster skewer, they're going to need difficult ingredients, but you can also sell winter veggies, they only need vegetables. From the jams, I do not recommend selling anything unless you have a lot of them because they are not that, because they take, basically they take a lot of time, so it's not worth it. All the juices are a very good way to make coins. My favorite just to make coins is carrot juice, just keep making it all the time, it only takes 25 minutes, and then you can sell this to make a lot of coins. Um, tomato juice is a good way as well, apple juice is also a good way, berry juice is one of the best ways to make coins in the game, it's pretty expensive, and it's pretty simple to make as well. Um, from the jewelry, although the jewelry is very expensive, this can give you pretty much a lot of coins, but normally I will not recommend selling this because it's hard to make like but if you need coins so you're a low level player then I'll, i think all the jewelry is worth selling um you can hire tom you can get diamond rings and you can sell that to make coins as well from the sandwich bar we do have a lot of products in here and my favorite product to make and sell is definitely the goat cheese the thing is it, all, it only needs one bread and run goat cheese so it's not that hard to make and i'm just going to make a lot of these the other products are really hard they're going to need mayonnaise they're going to need olive oil bread which could be a little bit challenging so no 
Um, from the soup kitchen, my most favorite machine in the game. It's a pretty good way to make coins. You can always make tomato soups. Um, you can make fish soup as well. Fish soup is pretty easy to make. You're just going to need milk and two fish. And this can give you a lot of coins. Other than that, you can um, make a lot of broccoli soup. My favorite soup to make in the game. You can make noodle soup. So basically, all of the soups are pretty simple to make. So just keep making them. They can give you a lot of coins. From the ice cream, although all the ice creams are hard to make. And I do not recommend selling them. But if you're a low-level player, you can always go with any four of these ice creams. They are hard to make. That's a fact. But they can also give you coins. So it's only your choice. The same goes with the candles. Although I do not recommend selling any any candles but if you want to sell them you can go with these two from our normal candy um candy maker machine the honey peanuts are a good way to make coins 10 goes for i think over 5000 and it only gonna need one honey which is your main challenge and honey you can get from your that machine but other than that i do not recommend selling any of these products because these are really really time consuming and these are not easy to make from your um flower shop the product that i love to make a lot and sell is the candy bouquet these are really expensive. These go very well. They can give you a lot of coins. The second product is a soft bouquet. I do sell a lot of these as well. I do not recommend selling a bright bouquet and the gracious bouquet because they need a lot of iron ores and they need a lot of diamonds. Um, for the rustic bouquet, this is actually a pretty common product. You can find a lot of these in the newspaper. So you better not sell these. From the coffee, the product that I do recommend selling a lot is your iced banana latte. It's just gonna need one milk and fruits. So it's a really, really good way to make coins. And I've made so many of these in my entire game playing experience. From this sushi, I would recommend you to make big sushi roll or the egg sushi, not any of these because they need fish and lobster tail, which could be a little bit challenging. From your pasta maker, both of these products are really good way to make coins, especially the rice noodles. You just need five rice, so make sure you have a lot of rice in your silo, and then you can sell them to make a lot of coins. They're pretty rare, and they will go away real quick. From the hat maker, you can make a lot of cloche hats. They're pretty expensive, but they will take some time. You can make the flower crowns. These are simple to make. You're just gonna need peonies and cotton. It's not gonna need any hard ingredient. Um, I do not recommend selling any product from your fondue pot because they are actually, although they're like not that time consuming, but the thing is the ingredients that you're going to need are really hard. For example, potato bread, cheese, um, bacons, they're not that easy to come. Tea stand, a very good way to make coins. Almost all the products can give you a lot of coins. You can always make green tea. It's pretty simple to make. Milk tea you can always make. Then you can make peach ice tree. So I think all the teas in the game are a very good way to make coins. Pastas could be a little bit challenging, so the only product that I recommend selling is your mushroom pasta because it's pretty simple to make. You're just going to need three fresh pastas, one goat milk, and I'm just going to make a lot of these. From your wall kitchen, one of my most favorite machines in the game, um, in fact, to make coins, is the wall kitchen because all the products are pretty simple to make. For example, a fried rice is going to need just five eggs and five rice. Tofu stir fry, which you guys know I always make a lot, but currently I don't have any onions. This is one of the best, best products in the game to sell and to make coins. It's pretty simple to make. It goes away real quick and it can give you a lot of coins. From the smoothies, I recommend making berry smoothies. I recommend making green smoothies. And I do recommend making a lot of these black sesame smoothies. They're so simple to make um, and to make coins. So from the, your taco kitchen, fish taco are a good way to make coins. From your hot dog stands, onion dogs, and tofu dogs are a good way to make coins. Guys, so in general, what I mean, always focus on those products that are simple to make, that do not need any hard ingredient, like that do not need any fish lobster, any dairy products, a lot of sugar products. And they can go away real quick and they can give you a lot of coins. So this is what you should be focusing on. Do not focus on hard products like do not make a lot of honey products. Do not make a lot of, you know, um, cards. They need a lot of items. All right, guys. So what I'm going to do now, I'm about to go to my roasted shop and sell a lot of products. So let's get started. I'm so excited. I love to make coins. So I'm going to start by the actual syrups. I have a lot of these. So I'm just going to put 30. I don't care. Let's put... The bread, breads can give you a lot of coins, as you guys can see, they're pretty simple to make. So I do recommend making a lot of bread and selling them. So I'm gonna sell more of the breads, and then I'm going to be putting 20 of these diamond rings, and you guys will see how easily I make a lot of coins in Haiti. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is to keep making products all the time. I'm gonna sell popcorns, 
I'm going to be selling the wallet dress. These are simple to make. These are all the products that I keep making and I keep selling to me coins. I'm just going to sell these. And then I'm going to be selling the peanut noodles. There we go. That's pretty expensive. They can give you a lot of coins. going to sell the bell paper soup. And I'm going to be selling a lot of these caramel latte. As you guys can see, I'm going to make a lot of coins. I'm going to be selling 10 of these. Let's sell... Um, well, I have a lot of these, so if you have a lot of um, candies, you can sell them. It's not a problem, but if you do not, then do not sell them because they take a lot of time. So I'm going to be selling chili poppers, and I'm going to be selling fish tacos. I'm going to be selling a lot of products, actually. Let's sell 10 fried rice, and I'm going to be selling 10 of the woolly chaps, and I'm going to be selling, let's sell just 5 of the jam. And I'm going to be selling it. Normally, I keep about 10 of every product in my barn. So it also depends on what your level is. And so I think that's it. Let's just sell five of these as well. So I think I have sold like crazy amount, like a lot of products. And I think that's it. So this is what I just wanted to show you guys in this video that what products you should be focusing on in the game to make coins. And I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Haiti videos I'll be posting. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.